welcome to my channel try to DIY today I'm gonna to show you how to do this so I wanted to integrate those necklaces for the longest time into my home decoration uh, however if you're familiar with Papua necklaces they're very expensive and very hard to find so I decided to come up with a plan to make my own necklaces uh, mostly with recycled materials and even though those materials are recycled I'm trying to make them look very high-end looking. I will show you three different necklaces I've made uh, and I will show you two different ways to put them on display. I hope you'll enjoy that video. For the first necklace, I needed black feathers. I recycled all colored feathers and dyed them in black for the project. To draw the base of the necklace, I folded a piece of paper in half to get a symmetrical shape. I cut it the shape and used that template to trace it on a piece of cardboard. I painted both sides with black acrylic paint to have an even background. To create the scales, I'm recycling Nespresso coffee pods. Empty and clean them. Then use a utility knife and a pair of scissors to cut them in half. I plaited those pieces of metals with a round edge tool. I'm using the back of my utility knife, but the back of a spoon should work as well. And now I got my pieces of metal to cut the scales from. I recommend making your first scale and using it as a template to have more uniform pieces. I took the base of my necklace and started displaying the feather on the edges before gluing them. I simply used the glue gun to fix them to the cardboard base. And to secure them, I added an extra line of hot glue on the top of the feather edge as well. I cutted some feathers to make the shape more regular, but this step is optional. Then I'm placing and fixing the metal scales with the glue gun. I'm making sure to alternate where I'm placing the center of the scales from one row to another. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm removing all the glue string that were left by the glue gun. To finish the inside edge of the necklace, I'm taking some twine, measuring more or less how much I need to cover the inside of the necklace. I'm creating a loop because I wanted to create the visual of a real necklace with an attached system. I'm simply gluing a piece of twine around the two other strings. Thank you. 
black with acrylic to go with the rest of the necklace. I'm also painting two pieces of string to create the attach later on. As you can see, I'm simply attaching the string with the glue gun. Then I'm creating the attach with the two string left over to give the impression of the real necklace. For the next one, I wanted to use small seashell like those, but I didn't have enough. So if like me, you have only one seashell, you can make your own seashell using white clay. I made sure to grease the shell with vegetable oil before making an imprint in the clay. And then I roughly cut the shape with a yulily knife. I made a hole in the shells, but I will end up not using it and will have to cover up this mistake. I traced the donut shape in the cardboard using lids and then I cut it. I painted the base with acrylic, but this step is definitely optional as I will totally cover it with twine. I took a piece of rope long enough to cover the center of the donut and glued a second one around it. I made two of those. Then I glued a single string of twine on the inside for better visual finish, following by the two rope I made on the inside circle. Next, I roughly cut its strings to cover up the rest of the cardboard. I divided the circle in eight parts and filled out each section. I took care of the final touches on the back before gluing the seashells. I came up with the idea of making little twine knots to cover the hole I made in the shell to give the impression they were tied to the support. I 
I sorted out the best fake seashell and once I had them and they dried, I glued the knots I made to cover the little holes. I cutted some of the twine for a more regular and yet still very organic finish. Then I'm fixing the shells on the support with the hot glue gun. For the third one, we're going to create a base with air drying clay. Make sure you always have water on hand to work the clay. I'm also using some sculpting tool, but in that case, a toothpick can definitely get the job done. I rubbed vegetable oil on my hand and applied some on a piece of cooking paper to avoid the clay sticking as I am working it. I'm simply making a flat circle as regular as possible and smoothing it with water. I'm making sure it is thick enough to hold on a wooden dowel, which I made a stand with. I'm poking holes around big enough to glue some twine. And on the top surface, I'm making a spiral pattern. Once dry, I'm sanding the surface with sandpaper. I have to separate the twine in half because it's still too thick to fit in the holes I made. I'm applying clear glue to one of the edge of the twine so it will hold together and will be more easy to insert in the holes. The first way to display the first two necklaces would be on the wall. I'm using a velcro tape to easily move them around. The second option would be to build a stand for them. I did so with a piece of reclaimed wood, a wooden dowel and a metal hanger. I fixed the necklaces with black tape, but if you have better ideas, let me know in the comment because I wasn't entirely satisfied even though this was behind the necklaces.
that's it for today I hope this gave you many ideas to come up with your own Papua necklace and I hope this will help you to have them in your home decoration without spending a fortune if you like this video please please put a thumbs up feel free to put a comment it's always nice to have those subscribe to our channel share with your friends and family also if you want to see this video in French we'll put the link in the description below à bientôt